Hey, crowd surfing fans, Craig Bielik right here down at the Maverick Center for the Chamber West Gala. Take a look at this stuff. They're practicing. They're getting set up. There's our catering crew. What is this all about? I'm glad you asked because I am here to tell you. So hang on with me for a minute and we're going to go on in. And thanks for joining Crowd Surfing. So here at the Chamber West Gala, and is it gala or gala? I think it just depends on who you are. I hear it different all the time. All the time, right. <laughs> and I've just been introduced to the Battling Bettys, who, by your name, I think you're a wrestling team, correct? I'll wrestle you. <laughs> <laughs> I am not wrestling you, especially not on camera, because I can guarantee you will win, because I got nothing, okay? I mean nothing. You're not a wrestling so, team. What are you? I'm actually married to a Marine vet who's a combat veteran who wrestled in the Marine Corps. I've got some practice. Really? <laughs> I should say. I should, man, you got the cred and everything. Hey, you couldn't put on an event like this without a good chair. And I understand, Steve, you're the chair this year, and you've done this before. Is that correct? Uh, yes, this is my second year as chair and uh, my fourth year on the committee. Okay, but you don't do this full time. Obviously, you have another job. I do. Uh, I work with Griffles Biomat USA. What is that? Uh, we're a plasma donation center um, oh, locally, okay. and we have centers all across the U.S. In fact, we're international now. Man, you never know who you're going to bump into here at the Chamber West Ga Gala or Gallo. How do you say it? I would say Gala. Okay. But, uh, Okay, I don't know that there's the right answer. Well, you you are the right answer, I would I would think. Now, for anybody out there that's watching and doesn't know who you are, I'm sure most people do, go ahead and introduce yourself. I'm Congressman Ben McAdams, representing the 4th Congressional District. I used to be the mayor of Salt Lake County. Right. So these are the battling <laughs> Bettys now, but, but and we'll talk more about your wrestling husband yes. later. But <laughs> what are the battling Bettys? So we're a nonprofit organization, and we're actually, we're a national organization, but we're the Utah Platoon and we support military, veterans, first responders, and their families. And we go out to all different events. We dress in the 40s and 50s at everything we do to just kind of bring some patriotism to what we do, remind people of back when the country was a little more patriotic and a, kind of came together during wartime. We don't do that as much anymore as a nation. And we love to just come out and support vets wherever we can. Plasma donation. I think everybody knows what that is, but just in case somebody's been living in a cave out there, tell them what it is. Yeah, well, our bodies are pretty amazing things. And so they produce these- Your body's an amazing thing. My, <laughs> mine, mine, I, I don't know that those words have ever been used for my body, but, well, oh, you mean like all, yeah. everyone's body? Well, yeah, and, and the camera's adding five pounds to me, so it's probably not all that amazing either. But no, um, we create these proteins, and these proteins allow us to be relatively healthy and there are individuals throughout the world who um, their bodies don't produce certain proteins. And so when we have donors who come in and, and donate plasma, uh, the plasma then is manufactured into medications that help save lives across the world. Are you a, ch a member of this chamber or come along as a guest? I'm just here as a guest supporting the chamber. Uh, as, as a member of Congress, we don't really have a budget to join stuff like this, but I, uh, Chamber West does such incredible work and we like to be here to make sure we're supporting the work that they're doing to, to support our employees and our businesses. and. So right. And do. you're in session right now also, right? I am. I'm flying back to D.C. next week. I'm just home for a long weekend, President's Day, and, and then heading right back. Is this the whole, Is are you guys the entire Battling Betty crew? We're just a few. Just a few. Just a few Battling Bettys? There's more Bettys? Yes. Yeah, what is your name? Brenda. Betty. <laughs> Brenda. <laughs> you can call me Betty. <laughs> it's Betty, isn't it? You're, you're Brenda? Brenda. Starts with a B, pretty close. Right. We'll let it go like that. How did you get into this? Um, boy, how did I? I think I saw something on Facebook. Angie was recruiting, uh -huh. and I went through the interview process and made it, and here I am. It's yeah. been fun. Yeah, and this is cool. I, I love Bettys. Now, I imagine you're a pretty busy guy at work. Uh, yes, I am. Travel so a lot. So how do you have time, and why do you work with the chamber? Um, so four years ago, um, I became a center manager in Taylorsville, Utah, and I joined Griffles because they're a socially responsible organization and I wanted to be able to give back to our community and I didn't know where to start and I knew that the chamber could help. And so by joining the chamber and working with Barbara, um, I met some really influential people who helped us uh, do the things that we wanted to do in the community. How's this experience been for you to, to be a congressman? I mean, 
it's a lot of work and we're in kind of a probably a more dynamic environment right now than we've ever been in. Yeah, I would say it depends on the day. Some days it, I feel honored to be able to serve and, and to do try to do good for our country. And other days it's just so divisive and I'm really disappointed. Some, Washington is just so broken, but I want to be part of fixing it and healing Washington so we can get back to uh, you know, recognizing that Republican or Democrat, we're all on the same team. We all love this country, and we've got to come together. We may have different ideas, but we've got to come together for the good of, for the good of the country. I, and I like I like your guys' style. This is just so you're so cute. I mean, really, you're re you're really wonderful. Okay, Betty, what's your name? I'm Betty too. <laughs> Are you really a Betty? My no. name is Susan. Okay. <laughs> and Susan, so you, I, I assume that you guys also sing and everything like that. Do you? No, you don't? Some of us sing, but that's not why we're a group. We don't. We're not a performing group. Okay, so you're not singers. You're not wrestlers. No. Um, I don't know what you guys are. <laughs> I'm not sure. What? Explain it again to me. We're a service organization. We support veterans, military, first responders. We attend events, we do service projects, we raise funds, we provide information on PTSD, we provide resources to vets in Utah. We're this is wonderful. You guys do really good stuff. Well, there's two issues that are here tonight, okay? And I, I, even though, again, people might have different takes on it, I think Everyone in the country is supportive of our military and supportive of business. Okay, those are two things that we all like. What do you think are the biggest challenges right now? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the first question to you. What's the biggest challenge for our military right now? You know, we've accomplished some things in the last year, but our military was underpaid, and we need to bring up their salaries to adjust with cost of living. And so this year we passed legislation just a couple of months ago to give a cost of living adjustment to our men and women in service. I still don't think it's enough, but it's a, it's a big step forward. But I'm interviewing people here tonight, and they're saying, Hey, the chamber, this chamber is great. I mean, great. Oh, it really is. Uh, it's, it's done for us what we would hope it would do. And um, uh, to tell you, uh, just chamber uh, membership in general, uh, what we did in Taylorsville has started to replicate itself in centers and in communities across the U.S. Uh, our public affairs group likes to say that Taylorsville is the poster child for getting involved in your community and using the chamber uh, to its fullest benefit. You're doing something good. You're, yes, you are. Don't you, don't you get all shy on me and pretend like you're not doing something good. Betty, what's your name? My name is Misty. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is my first event. This is your first event? Yes. All right, so you're not quite a battling Betty. You know, this is my first time, so. She's a battling Betty. Yeah. She's just now I am. Oh, okay. All right, all right. So tell me the truth. Was there an, an initiation or anything? <laughs> Um, yes, well. it's talking to you, you dummy. That's, that's, that's the initiation. I had to speak to Craig Bielik. That's my, that's my trial by fire. No, I live next door to Angie, and so that's how I got introduced to this program. And um, my husband is a vet. Okay. And so I'm just really excited to help serve and honor those who um, serve us. We're working on some issues to make sure, especially with our National Guard. These are people who are part-time military, but they're activated from time to time. And there are issues with their health benefits as they go back and forth between active status and then reserve status. Uh, sometimes they're dropped from insurance or that transition is difficult. So we've got to get the red tape out of the way so they can focus on their service to our country and being with their families. And then and then they work, you know, they, they have jobs when they're not in on active duty when they have jobs and make sure that we just get the red tape out of their way, allow them to focus on their service and their families. This is a cool theme tonight, this military theme. Did you serve in the military? I did not. My father was an Air Force member and uh, I have many friends that have served in the military. That's cool. But you, but this is a great theme that you came up with or? No, it was a team. You know, no, we, no, no. Take credit for it. Uh, no, no, like, no. I did it all. <laughs> no, you know, um, Barbara does a lot with our military here in, in Utah and every year we try to look at uh, different ideas that we feel would resonate with our community and this year was military. By show of hands before we get to the rest of you, how many of you are, are connected to someone in the military? Almost all of them. No, you know what? No one at all. Like my, grandpa. Or my grandma was the one of the first women to join the waves in World War II. Now I love that. Yeah. That is that is a story, and I can tell you that the waves were, you know, I know a little bit about that, and they were way more important than people make them out to be. <laughs> I'm proud of her. I'm sure. My grandpa are. was a, a fighter pilot in the war as well for the See? Navy. You are connected. Raise your hand next time. Raise my hand. Yeah. <laughs> Raise your hand. Okay, I got more Bettys. Okay, I'm going to pose the same question to you for business. What do you think is the, the biggest challenge overall for business in America right now? 
Uh, that's a good question. I think, you know, with government, the, the goal is to make sure we're supporting businesses, but the best thing we can do a lot of times to support our businesses is just stay out of the way. Make sure that uh, taxes are low so our small businesses that are we're operating on a shoestring can, uh, can make ends meet, and uh, I think that's important. Making sure that uh, unemployment is, uh, is really low right now, so it's hard for businesses to attract and retain employees. So investing in our education system, making sure that we are preparing that workforce so they're ready when they finish high school, finish college or other training, they're available to enter the workforce and support our businesses who are desperately in need of employees. Right. What would you say to somebody out there that's maybe got a small business and they're thinking about joining the chamber, they're not sure, am I going to get anything out of it? What should I do? Um, well, A, I would say join the chamber and understand that you're going to get out of it what you're willing to put into it. And you don't really have to put in a whole lot. Um, attend a few meetings. Um, Barbara, the team, they're willing to introduce you to people. You just need to let them know what it is you're looking for, and that's what they're here to do. They're here to serve and to help people make connections and get the most for their business. I got to come over to this Betty. Tell me who you are. I'm Wendy. Wendy the Betty? Wendy Darling. Oh, Wendy Darling. No way. Is that really your name? No, I just go by that. Oh, okay. Your, your real name's like Wendy Kapinski or something yeah. like that. But, but you're Wendy the Darling. Yeah, just Wendy Darling. Yeah. She is Hi. darling. She Look is at that. very darling. Aren't we all, though? Hello. No, I already said, I already told you guys, I love the way you look. I love what you're doing. What's your name, Betty? Emily. Emily Betty? Emily Betty. Yeah. And how long have you been part of this group? Oh, not quite a year. So probably like eight months. Eight months, something like that. That's that's really cool. I love, how can people find out more about this? They can come up to us at any of our events and when we're doing tabling, and they can also visit us online. And I'm going to blank on the name of the website. Facebook. You can or Facebook, Facebook Battling Bettys. Yeah, the Utah Platoon on Facebook. You guys yeah. have a Facebook, the, yes, do, the Battling Bettys. Yes, yeah. we do. If any of you doubted that Ben is a congressman, he just proved it right here. I mean, to be able to speak like that uh, impromptu on a couple of questions, that's just that's just crazy. I, okay, so I have, a, I have another question for you. Okay. Have you ever been here for a hockey game? I have been here for a hockey game. They're a lot of fun. We usually sit right back there, and uh, I think the last time I came, we had a fight break out, right, break out in front of us. It was entertaining, but it was it was short-lived. So. <laughs> it was short-lived. Yeah, short -lived, so. See? So yeah. he's not only a congressman, he's also a, an American because Americans come to hockey games to see fights. We have four <laughs> kids and they love to come and, and watch it. Well, thank you. And thank you for your service. I'm going to let you, I mean, you're here obviously to talk yeah. with people and it's really cool that you'd take a minute to speak with us. My pleasure. Thank you. All right. I got to talk to a congressman. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Thanks. Thank you. Does a uh, plasma donation benefit the military? Uh, it absolutely does. As a matter of fact, um, yeah. albumin is a, uh, the largest protein that we make and uh, it's used been used in many, many wars to help uh, people um, and save lives. That is so cool. Steve, you're a good guy. I like you. you. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, you get my stamp of approval. Hang on, I got a stamp in my pocket. I'll stamp your hand. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. How are you connected with the military? My Both of my grandfathers served in World War II, uh, both in the Navy and the Army, and my grandpa Johnson actually served in the Battle of the Bulge. So I'm very proud of him that he passed when I was eight, so Aww. I didn't get to hear all the stories. But That's yeah. so cool. I'm connected by my father, Walt Bielik. He is always watching. Hi, Dad. And he is he is uh, very proud of his service. He volunteers out at the George Wallen um, Home for Veterans, and he's, he's just here. Say hi to Walt. Hi, Walt. Hello, Walt. Hi, Walt. Hi, Walt. Hi, Walt. Hi, Walt. <laughs> Walt is uh, 84 years old. If he just survives six beautiful women saying hi to him, then, <laughs> then I'll be getting a call any moment at this time. So word on the street is you guys are up for an award tonight. Is that right? That is what I hear, yeah. That's why we're here tonight. Is that, Okay, so introduce yourselves. Uh, my name's Chuck Krivanik. I'm uh -huh. a training and engagement manager for Complete Recovery. The best company to work for, uh, best company in all of Utah. No, the best company in all of the world. That's right. There you go. There you go. Sorry, I don't mean to correct you, but, you know, I just want to make I'll, sure. I'll, I'll accept that. You, of course, couldn't do an event like this without an incredible amount of people to make it all happening. You guys are the catering crew. Is that, did I get that right? Yes. Is that right? Okay, cool. Uh, one thing, could I have you stand here and you stand over there like that? <laughs> I lined you up by height, and you guys did it without even asking me about it. So tell me your name. I'm Nick. Yeah, and? I'm Grace. And? Mikkel. And? Emma. 
Cool. And you guys are here to do the catering and serving and all of that kind of stuff. Is that right? Yeah. We will be doing the <laughs> catering. <laughs> I was going to give you a chance to really jump on it, Nick. I mean, this is your chance to take my job. You could be like... Boom. All right, Battling Bettys, thank you for everything you guys do. This is wonderful to have you here at the gala, and it's just going to be, I, I don't know, I just, I love, I want to join. Can I join? <laughs> Yes, we can, we can find a dress for you. I have awesome legs. I really do. I, I Seriously, I, I have well, beautiful let's see legs. Them. Let's see them. You can see them. They're right down there. I'm, I, I'm serious. Let, let, take a look at I mean, look. Let, let, here, hold my microphone. I want to show you my calf. Oh, Woo! Oh, oh. Woo! All right. Woo! Woo! All right. Oh, oh my goodness. Woo! <laughs> look at those socks. Who is this nice lady standing next to you? Uh, this is my wife, Monica. Hi, Monica. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? And who is this nice guy standing next to you? Well, I'm Roger Pruitt. I serve on the chamber with uh, this gentleman, and uh, I'm with L3 Harris. Okay. All right, so I have now I got a lot of questions, okay? <laughs> First off, what is it that your company does? Uh, we are in uh, equipment recovery is our, our main line of business. So uh, some of our we partner with companies like Comcast Communication or Comcast uh, Xfinity and Cox Communications to uh, reach out to their customers to help them re uh, return leased equipment. Oh, okay. So like your cable box, cable box. that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, you you decide to upgrade or whatever, and it yeah. needs to be returned. Yeah. So are you these guys are your friends? Yes, they're my friends. They're pretty cool. I like them. I like them all. The only thing that's kind of weird is, look at their shoes. Yeah. See, like, like, look, that, so there's some, look, something isn't right here. Something's not matching. I mean, <laughs> did you not have another checkered shoe? <laughs> no, I couldn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't find it. Well, this is really cool. One, is there anybody you guys want to say hi to while you have the mic? Uh, I'd like to say hi to my friend Austin. Okay. How about you? And my friend Caden. And? My dogs. Your dog? Okay, I'm glad you said hi to your dog. He, he or she will definitely appreciate that. And you? I want to say hi to my friend Sadie. All right, there you go. Nobody said hi to mom. Oh, our mom is here. Oh, she is okay. also working. <laughs> well, that's cool. I'm going to talk to her. You guys, thanks for being a good interview. Thank you so much. Okay, go get your matching shoe. <laughs> <I'll find it. laughs> okay. So we host a lot of competitions at different military events, yeah. and so we'll do pinup competitions for ladies, but a big part of military history was men's competitions, and they uh -huh. would do them during World War II when they were deployed to boost morale, and we've actually taken that tradition on where we'll have men's competition, and we'll have obnoxious guys in old uniforms, sailor outfits, World War II outfits, and they come out and they'll show their legs, and they'll wear a hula skirts, all kinds of things, and it is so much fun. And we do it at things like the Military Outpost as part of the Freedom Festival, yeah. Fort Douglas Days, things like that. And we host those competitions, and the men are hilarious. The ladies are always classy and amazing, and the men are hilarious. And it's a big part of military history a lot of people aren't aware of. Oh, you had me at obnoxious guys. <laughs> See, I mean, <laughs> you, you, need to, you need to come enter one of those. <laughs> all right, I'm going to do it. I've been talked into it by six lovely Bettys. <laughs> yep. Uh, you know, how lucky am I? My six Bettys all in one. Thanks, guys. Have fun. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. This was way worth the trip. <laughs> this was, let me pull that down if I can get it over that gun. <laughs> I don't want to say this, but I think in my basement right now, there's like yeah, yeah. probably 15 various parts of cable things. And I don't really want it, but I'm afraid if I throw it away, you know, the you know, the police are going to show up on my doorstep <laughs> tomorrow or something. Might be on the call the, list. The next, yeah, the next day we yeah. <laughs> So, uh, like, an average Joe like me, I can't call you. There's a company that, like, I can't call you to come and get it, but Comcast hires um, you. Yeah, so uh -huh. Com we work, uh, we're partnered with Comcast, so they'll give us, uh, you know, uh, a list of their customers that they'd like us to reach out to on their behalf. Yeah. And yeah. then we do that for them. You know what's cool? It's great when you come to an event and you run into an old friend. Okay? And I... An uh, old friend? A, a friend that you've had for a long time. Oh, that's better. <laughs> that, I like that much Is better. that Barrel Barbara? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I screwed it. It's great to run into a good friend. There you... I agree. It's so good to see you. All right. Guys. So introduce yourself. Barbara Riddle, President and CEO of the Chamber West Chamber of Commerce. You know what? This is really funny because you know I've done a lot of these. I know you have. And I've talked to people just kind of off the cuff because you know how I am. I do know how you And all of them are talk about the uh, 
they are in love with this chamber. I can't think of another way to put it. I mean, a lot of positive things. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. We have so many great people here. I love the people. They're awesome. So, you know, when you're walking through an event and everybody says, you've got to interview these guys, you got to interview these guys. I mean, that's just what how it works. Tell me who you are. Especially when you have a name called Pink Monkey Solutions. So. No kidding. Your, your, name, your name of your business is Pink Monkey Solutions? Absolutely. No kidding. How, I, I'm trying to imagine what that is, okay? Um, I didn't know actually that pink monkeys were much of a problem. <laughs> I, I just, I, nobody told me that, but you guys have the solution apparently for it. Is that right? Exactly. So what we are is an event decor and fabrication company. So we specialize in lighting, graphics, furniture, custom builds, brand installations, trade show booths, a little mixture of everything to complete the scope of the event itself. So Chuck and Monica, why are you guys chamber members? I mean, it sounds like you're a pretty busy guy. You probably have other things to do. I'm a, I've been a chamber member for several years now, and because of what uh, the impact the chamber has in the community, I love the networking aspects of it because I meet so many other business people that are trying to make a difference in the community. And I particularly got involved because of our Legislative Affairs Committee. Uh, I think we can have such an impact by working with our legislators to make sure that our voices are heard as business people in the West Valley community. Oh, that's cool. And Monica, same thing, huh? Same thing. I'm happy because he's happy and he oh, feels fulfilled. Yeah. Yeah. He's very fulfilled working with the community. And you know what they say, you know, happy wife. Happy life. life. Happy that's life, right. yeah. Happy husband, yeah, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go lift something, big guy. <laughs> so explain Chamber West to someone who doesn't understand that. So Chamber West is a business organization, a 501c6 nonprofit, and it's really a business organization, and their whole mission is to work together to strengthen and promote the shared interest of our business community. When you think about it, a business person has one voice, and if they have an issue they want to address, or they need some support, or they, have, they want to reach out and collaborate, they're one person. When you bring a bunch of businesses together, you have a lot of positive energy and ability for people to um, collaborate, share best practices, share a, a concerted voice. If there are, let's say, governance issues or policy issues, right. it's a, a much more powerful um, kind of a voice. So like an event like this, something like that, you guys go out and, what's the proper word? Stage it or what? How do, what's, what is the proper word? Uh, I would just say setting. We're actually just, we're, we're, we're setting the atmosphere for, uh, you know, whatever the client or customers basically desire and it's, or can think up. Yeah, and it's really important. I mean, that is an important function because, I mean, look around. Does this not make you feel patriotic tonight? It does, very much so. It's an incredible honor. Yeah. All right, now we got to come over here because I need to know. You you said your the name of your company really fast, and I wasn't oh, sure. Oh, L3 Harris. L3, and what is that? Uh, it's a defense contractor up by the airport, so we're in Salt Lake County. But I joined this chamber for the same sentiments, but our employee population is based where this chamber is located, and we want to make sure we represented our employees. Right. Are you happy with your chamber membership? Are you getting what you need? Absolutely. I think it's great. I think it provides a great value. I'm on a legislative committee as well, and I think it helps us be able to uh, understand what's going on in our community. It's especially important if you're like a small business, right? I mean, let's say, let's say you're a business that makes jelly beans or something like that, and all of a sudden there's a law that comes up that says no green jelly beans, you know, something like that. You know, you, how, you, you're you David taking on Goliath, but if you got a chamber behind you, a little better. It's a much better scenario. You have a much more powerful voice in that area. Yeah. And we have a very active legislative affairs committee. Our board of governors made up of big businesses, medium, small businesses get together. They care about what happens to this community. And what happens to the business community has a huge trickle down into the education community and into the, into the residents. Yeah, you have to think about that because if daddy ain't got a job, okay, it's harder for the kids going to school. It's harder for it's harder for everything. Well, think about too. Let's say you've got education, mm -hmm. and if you're able to connect to businesses through, let's say, a job fair put on by your local chamber of commerce, yeah. what a great way to connect. Yeah. I mean, it just chambers have the ability to kind of bring everybody together within a community to the betterment of the community as a whole. How many how many events do you do in a year? 
about 150 to 200. Um, we're headquartered actually in Colorado. What? So we just opened up. Yep, we just opened up here in Utah about a year ago. So we just had our one year anniversary and are looking to grow more with the state. Congratulations, okay. Thank you. Now, now people obviously can find out way more about you by a website, right? Yes, uh, yes, uh, pinkmonkeysolutions.com. You see a great gallery of all of our past events, all of our um, just ideas and creative solutions that we provide for those who desire it. So here comes a big question. Have you been here to the Maverick Center to a hockey game? I have. Yeah? I did have. you cheer? Yes, I did. Was there a fight? No. What? No, no, no fight broke out. <laughs> no fight? Are you sure it was a hockey game? I, I was struggling. It meant to be the Book of the Month Club or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, no fights broke out that night. Okay, explain to people out there what exactly your company does. So we provide defense articles. We make communication systems for uh, multiple entities within defense, internationally, private, private sector as well, but uh, we do communication devices. How long have you done this? It'll be four years in March. Four years, since you were 20. I know, it goes by so fast. <laughs> it doesn't, <really? laughs> it does. why do you do this? You know, I love being in a position where what I do every day makes a difference. And I believe this chamber is killing it and they're really making a difference. And it's, we've got a great staff, but we've got so many great businesses and the volunteer effort they're willing to put into it. The, the, um, um, the human capital, and the financial capital really makes a huge difference. So I know you've been asked before, but where, where the heck did that name come from? Pink Monkey, <laughs> Pink Monkey Solutions. So it's a really good question. There's three different answers, but I would actually say if you go, oh yeah, if you go back to one of the most simplistic original ones, we have two owners. The wife of one of the two owners had a list of different business names that she was looking to basically name her company. Pink Monkey was actually one of them. Unfortunately, one night over dinner, the two owners of Pink Monkey Solutions ended up, so to speak, stealing the name from his own wife. So it was actually just a really, she said they could have it anyways. We wanted- Good thing. I mean, that could be a divorce. Yes, you know? very much so. No, it actually all worked and out. I can see the judge, you know, oh, what, somebody wants custody of a pink monkey? What is this? <laughs> exactly, no, it worked out great. It worked out great. So they, the two owners wanted something whimsical, something yeah. fun yeah. Um, to incorporate into their business. And that was the name. You do those really cool radios between the planes or whatever they are? Yeah, we do those and we yeah. do a lot of other fun stuff. Probably stuff you can't even tell me about. Probably, Probably like top secret <laughs> stuff that I don't even know. There are some things that I can't talk about. Yeah. You guys probably have a camera watching me right now somewhere. Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is great. It's nice to meet you. What would you say to someone out there that's kind of on the fence? Should I join the chamber or not? I'd say you get the best value for your money by joining the chamber. There you go. There you go. And and fights break out in the chamber, oh, not just hockey games. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> no, they never have, as far as I know. Thank you. All Very right, nice to you. meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Thank you. This is our annual awards gala, so we use this opportunity to recognize, <laughs> celebrate business success. And then we also recognize somebody with a Lifetime Achievement Award with our Hall of Fame Award. And this year that happens to be the Honorable Mayor Ron Bigelow, who served in the legislature for like 16 years. He was at the state budget um, office and now he has been the mayor of West Valley and he is such a strong proponent of this Chamber of Commerce and a strong proponent of people working together to really create more strength within the community. That is wonderful. So what does he get here tonight for all of that? I mean, like two desserts or? <laughs> he gets to be embarrassed a little bit. We've been having a lot of fun with him because he's an accountant yeah. and he's got an accountant's personality, but he does have a personality. Yeah, well, oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> you, you, we should cut that part out. She's not implying <laughs> that accountants don't have personalities. Okay, fans out there? I uh, know, of course they all have personalities. It's not much. A little different. And and he's, he's got such a fun, dry personality, and he's, he's amazing. So tell me your dream event that you haven't done. What would you, what would you love to set? Oh, that's a, that's a, big, that's a big question. Um, I don't know if I would have a straight answer for that. We, we, are, we are so far like from one end of the spectrum to the other that it's, uh, some of the simple ones please me, but some of the more articulate, uh, you know, complicated and... Uh, visionary ones are actually some of the ones to, you know, the ones that make you sweat before the uh, before and after, but. Uh, you guys might be fooled by this slick, nice suit 
and the tie and everything, but up until just recently, this guy was wearing a uniform. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, 37 years in the United States Army, the Utah National Guard. Are you kidding me? Thank you for your service. Yeah, great pleasure. I miss it every day. I'm sure you do, and, and, and I'm appreciative of guys that do the heavy lifting because I never served, so thank you. No, thank you. I thank people who come to work every day and just make America roll. So yeah. th thanks to you, and uh, we love doing what we do. We're going to interview him. Is he here? He, he's right behind you. Oh, he's right behind me? Oh, okay. I'm. Uh, listen, I'm going to get personality out right, of this guy. Ask okay, this is about good. the chamber. All right, that's what we're going to do. Right, Barbara job. Riddle, president good of the chamber, you. and tonight's big old, big old uh, honoree. That's what I'm told anyway. Tell everyone who you are. I'm Ron Bigelow. I'm the mayor of West Valley. And other things? Uh, well, yeah. I'm involved with the chamber pretty heavily. Do you think you could handle virtually anything as somebody threw at you? Like, what if I said, I'm having a gala and I, I want a creature from the Black Lagoon theme? Absolutely. So 75% of our crew comes from the theater world. Okay. So they specialize in lighting, stage sets, creation. Anything outside of the box is definitely within our wheelhouse. If you were to ask me, it, a dream event that we would want to do would be something multicultural and then in multiple countries at the same time. So I'd love to do some sort of traveling roadshow event spanning oh, wow. a series of different countries. Like if there was a company that had, say, seven headquarters in seven different countries and, and like do do a taste of each country in the in? In the country itself, yeah. absolutely. That would be an incredible opportunity for us. If you ever get a chance to do that, you will need a skilled television interviewer I, and exactly i'm just exactly. throwing it out there that i would be more than willing to travel with and you heard it here first exactly yeah. so tell people who you are uh, my name is jeff burton i'm the retired uh, commanding general the adjutant general of the utah guard and so uh, my wife and family and i have lived all around the world and uh, utah's our home and yeah. we retired here yeah, I'm sure. I mean, they move you about every two years, don't they? Well, the Guard's a little different. We get to uh -huh. stay locally, but uh, I was in the regular Army as well, and so we moved around, uh, lived in Europe and the South and yeah. the Midwest and the, yeah. and the upper Midwest and all that kind of stuff. Why did you get involved with the Chamber? Well, obviously, from the standpoint of the city, it's important to have a strong co Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. uh, but those vary in what they do and how they perform. Uh, so you say, well, I'll give it the amount of effort that it deserves and what they're putting into it. Well, they put a lot into it, so I have to spend a lot of time with the chamber. Well, of course. They, they do such a great job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you sound like you like it. I have enjoyed my association with the members of uh, the chamber. It's been eye-opening to uh, learn more about individuals within our city and our neighboring cities, uh, and then to see the things that they will do to try and make our communities better. That's great. And, and they, uh, they do a lot. You guys members of the chamber? We are. So we joined the chamber uh, last June. Okay. Incredible honor at the same time. We couldn't be happier to be a part of tonight. That's so cool. I don't think I've ever met anybody in your business. Okay, I got one other question for you. So if I did decide to put on my Creature of the Black Lagoon event, um, do you guys have access to actors and things like that, like people that could come and... Oh, sure. Yeah. We have a wide variety of uh, people we work with, uh, okay. from, from such as actors and... Yeah. collaborations with other of them so yeah cool Stuff. this is cool you guys are a great interview man this is this is you guys this is a show that makes itself you know that kind of a thing you said 37 years so i'm not real great at math but you enlisted 1983 does that sound about right uh, 82 82 yeah yeah wow Wow. Well, what what would you say about your experience? I mean, it's hard to sum up 37 years probably in one, a couple of words, but what was it like? Well, the Army is a dynamic place, and it changed a lot from 1982 to now. I think what you find is uh, people are a lot more capable. It's an all-volunteer force. Uh, when I first got in, there were a lot of draftees that really didn't want to be there. Mm -hmm. It's kind of doing their time. What you find now is very intelligent people who want to do this work and are very committed to what they're doing. They're going to put you on the hot seat a bit tonight. You know, they're going to be honoring you, and yeah. you're going to have to go up on stage. There's probably going to be some pretty cool music and everything. Are you ready for that? I don't know how ready I am. <laughs> uh, I know uh, 
I, I told him, I said, I'm, I'm glad you did made that decision while I wasn't in the room, because uh, <laughs> you may have had some feedback, but. You know, I want you to surprise him tonight. When you go up there, I really want you to get into it. Happy dance, you know, the whole bit. You think you can do it? No, I can't. <laughs> I'm sure you can if you try. I mean, you know, this is a big award. Really let yourself go. Well, for 50 years, I've been a certified public accountant. Oh. <laughs> so you're saying you so, can't? So my idea of a fun time is, uh, uh, you know, you put a little flavoring in your water or something. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You ever done a beard event? No, never. Oh, man, such a shame. Yeah, I, I, you know. <laughs> Come on, right? I can't. No, we haven't. Uh, sure. Oh, maybe, yeah. See, maybe that's what we need is a beard event. A beard event. That's it. You guys, you, you, you know, October beard fest. <laughs> there you something, go. Something like that. We're going to steal that. Hey, that's my name. Don't you steal it. <laughs> Don't you steal it, wife of the right. owner. <laughs> no. Thanks, guys. Carlo, Sean, big ones. Come on. There you go. Thank you. Man, I want to interview like people like you all the time. Thank you. Really appreciate it. I was going to say, circle on back. So what would you say to somebody that's thinking about enlisting? Well, you know, the world's a hard place, and so it doesn't matter what career field you go into. I look at the Army or any kind of military service as kind of a calling. It's, it's like playing poker. you got to be completely all in if you're going to do this. Mm -hmm. And so you got to be committed. Uh, you got to be committed to physical fitness and mental and emotional fitness uh, your whole career. And so it takes a lot of energy, but uh, the payoff's great, too. You make friends that you'll never be able to replicate anywhere else. The payoff's got to be great because, again, I'm not good at math, but you served for 37 years, but you look like you're 31 years old. Har hardly, <laughs> hardly. I, I've been road hard and put away wet. Uh, spent a lot of time living in a tent and sleeping on a cot, okay. so I like going to hotels now. <laughs> and who could blame you after all of that time? You know what? Uh, you know what I want you to do? I want you to go up there and I want you to put a credit in the debit column. Show them who's boss. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That'll work just fine. <laughs> no happy dance, but boy, is your balance sheet going to look weird in the morning. Ah, uh, balance is everything. <laughs> you don't want your life to get out of balance. You know what? That's good advice. That's good advice. You seem like a nice man. Congratulations on your reward. So we're at the Chamber West Gala, and I think people have said, you got to go over and talk to these guys, okay? Besides being, like, super colorful and fun here, uh, why do I need to talk to you? Because we're a great business. Oh, it's okay. That's yeah. great. What is your business? Nag tag. We make name tags and name plates. These things. Oh, the, like you like you've got right on there. Right. Yep. How long have you been in business? Uh, twenty-five years. Yeah. And where where are you located at? West Jordan. Okay. So you really are in the West. This is this is the chamber for the West, and and here you are. How long have you been a chamber member? This is the one you really ought to be talking to. Oh, okay. All right, so here's the big question. I hope you're, I hope you're up for this. Sure. Probably one of the most challenging questions you're going to be asked, okay? Uh, we're here at the Chamber West. Gala or gala? What's the, what's the official pronunciation? I call it a gala, but uh, right? other people call it a gala, so I don't no. know. No, if you I call it a gala, if you say it's a gala, it's a gala, you are. And Sterling Polson will back me on that. I think he's going to be in there uh, MC in this thing. That's what I've heard. All right, well, there you have it from a general. It is gala. gala. I don't want to hear you say it any other way ever. That's right. <laughs> on that. Thank you for your time. Yes, sir. Yeah, and thank you for your service. All right, thank you. Hey, I found some more support staff for the gala here tonight. This is a big gala. There's no way you could do this without a lot of people helping out. And one would be you, you, and you. Who are you? My name is Matt. And Matt, what are you doing here tonight? Uh, operations. We take care and change over the arena for the events. Oh, yeah, that's a big job. When you said operations, I thought you were doing surgery or something <laughs> here. <laughs> I was going to say, you doing a gallbladder or what? <laughs> whatever they need. Whatever, whatever they need. I'm actually the owner of Nagtech. So, okay. And this is my manager. Hi. Leslie. Hello. Well, it is really nice to meet you guys. All right. So I want to know where you're located at. South Airport Road. Okay. Just by the other airport. If you see a helicopter, you know we're nearby. All right. And what about a website? Do you have one? Nagtag.com. There you go. There you go. How long have you been a chamber member? Just a couple years. A couple years? What are you, what, what are you getting out of it? I mean, you, oh, you... This chamber a lot. We were a member of another chamber. Uh -huh. and, uh, we'll remain nameless. And we, we, we're, Yeah, we're leaving it at that. But 
We came over here and they actually are really good for our business. They publicize us, they work with us, they find people to work with us and vice versa. Yeah. It's been wonderful. They're doing everything a chamber they should do. do. What they should do. Right. All right, so I have found myself some new members. Yep. Now, not, not all new members because I understand, Jordan, you are chamber of the board. Is that correct? Yes, chairman of the board. Chair, oh, chairman of the board. Yeah, well, did I say that? You said chamber of the board, but I like that. That's that yeah. interesting. You could yeah, that. I just coined. I just coined a phrase, and everybody, I'm I'm patenting that, and everyone's going to owe me a nickel that use it. So you guys just joined the chamber to add a little height to it, I think. <laughs> yeah. Right. How hard is it to change this floor out? Uh, the floor is not too bad, but changing the arena it can take a couple hours. So yeah. Yeah. My goodness. Event. My goodness. And there, if I understand this right, there is ice underneath here, right? Correct. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did you uh, did you put any of this floor down? Like, did you do that piece right there? <laughs> well, I put some of it down. Right. What about you? Did you did you do that piece right there? Uh, yes. In fact, I did do that piece. Are you serious? Are you pulling my chain? I'm not pulling your chain. Really? Out. How heavy is that, that piece right there? Um, not too heavy. I would say probably like 60 pounds something like that yeah. cool i couldn't lift it <laughs> yeah. so if you're a small business and you're watching this program what would you say to them about you joining the chamber join show? the chamber absolutely yeah. this chamber yeah this chamber not any old you chamber no. this chamber this chamber right absolutely right how many name tags do you guys think you make in a year oh hundreds of thousands yeah at least a million, a million? okay maybe a million a year are you kidding me? Wow, that's like a lot of name tags. <laughs> so do, do they all have names on them or do you make like generic ones so people oh, no, can... we do generics and we do a lot of things other than name tags. We do desk and door plates and wedges and, and gifts and anything you can do with a laser or a full color print machine. We that's can... so cool. Tell us who you are. So my name is Ben Driggs. My name is DJ Bassett. DJ. Okay. And what is your business? Uh, we help uh, Navigate Financial, we help organizations uh, put together 401k plans. So uh, okay. both individual and also associations, chambers, things like that. So we're 401k folks, okay. consultants. Yeah. 401k, you, 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 that, that's, that is a buzzword nowadays, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 So the laws have changed and uh, bigger group plans, chambers are coming more, you know, as they're, they're instead of doing your own 401k plan, which is the way it's been mm -hmm. up until today, now we're starting to see that give way to bigger, so you can get economies of scale and things like that. Tell me your name. My name is Zach. Zach, nice to meet you. And I already know your name because I was talking to you yeah. before we did this. I, you know what, you have to tell people your name because, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I think this is one of the greatest names we've ever had on television. Tell them. My name is Galilea Gonzalez. Galilea, isn't that cool? <laughs> oh my gosh, my name's Craig. <laughs> nice to meet you, Craig. <laughs> it is nothing like Galilea, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> but you're with the catering crew here tonight. Yeah, so I'm actually a suite server here, and we take care of all the VIP suites on both floors. But then, you know, if we want some extra shifts, I can just let them know, and they'll give me a catering. What's the most unusual name you've ever had to engrave onto a name tag. I used to actually engrave name tags for a company. And one time I had, I had, a, um, I had a request for a name that was T. Riki. So I don't want to tell you who that was, but well, obviously if your name's T. Riki, you know who you are out there, but it was T. Riki and it was really hard to explain. I thought somebody was like pranking me, but it was legit. You know, I, boy, you got me at a loss. It, there was a time where they collected they had a wall that they would put up the unusual names, uh -huh. you know, but it, it's gone away for a long time and I don't know. What are you hoping to get out of your chamber membership? Meeting people. I just, yeah. Well, you just met me. Come I on. I mean, right there. Yeah. I mean, that, that's yeah. that. Oh, that's one off the bucket list right uh, there. So right. we like it. We specialize in the small business space. So reaching out to small businesses and saying, how can we help you? Most small businesses don't have four, you know, really small. Yeah. It's tough. Yeah. And so that's what we specialize and say, how can we help you put something together for your people? And in reaching, going out there, we're, 
we're out in the field every day. Yeah? Yeah. So. Hey, man, you got the mic and you got the camera. You want to pump your website? Well, uh, navigatefinancial.com. The uh, suites here at the Maverick Center, they, they're they pretty nice. I mean, oh, I've yeah. been in them. Yeah, so we uh, there's a, like a Coke suite and then there's a Maverick suite. There's several suites that all have all their own sponsors. Yeah. And some of them are actually decorated to their own like liking. So, yeah, that's great. To their own liking, and you guys can serve like really good stuff up there. Yeah, they do like the uh, grizzly fries, nachos. There's a lot of things that we can serve. Thank you Thank for you. coming to the Chamber Gala. Thank you for your support of the Chamber. But it sounds like they're helping you too. They are absolutely good. Great good, chamber. good, and the manager agrees. Always with the boss. Yes, always. <laughs> of course. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> yeah, they have been wonderful though. Ribbon cutting. All the, the camaraderie, the emails of new members who we could service or could help us, it's been great. They never stop. I, I'm actually on the board, and I would have never done that had it, were, had it not been for this chamber. This is a great report. This is a great report. Hope you guys have a lot of fun here tonight at the gala. I'm standing between you and your appetizers, no, and I'm sorry, but thank you for taking some time and chatting with thank us. You. Thanks thank you. very much. Thanks for your time. If I can reach DJ, I'll ask him a question here also. I don't even know if I can get up. I can get up that. How long have you done this? Um, I've been working here with, with Ben for how long? Eight, eight months now, yeah. getting here on a year coming this summer. Uh, currently a student up at Utah State University working with him, working towards financial advising. So That is so cool. That is so cool. Now, this is Jordan, okay? I said chamber of the board, but it's chairman of the board. I, I guess you probably have been with the chamber for a while. Uh, about three years, four years. About three years, yeah. okay. What are you getting out of the chamber? Oh, uh, the chamber is a great option for any business that wants to participate in the community. Um, there's so many great programs. It can be legislative affairs. It can be women in business. It's uh, it's a convener of leadership and you know meeting of minds and just a great place to to meet and network and grow and opportunities for leadership and good things. There you go. That's what you're going to do for these guys right there you here. Go. Yep, absolutely. You're going to help them grow. That's These guys the need to grow. Look at them. The they need <laughs> yeah. They need I'm, to grow. <laughs> I would have worn my tall shoes if I'd have known. And, and there's a lot of events being here to, held mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah. you got rodeos. you got rodeos, hockey games. You've got trucks. monster trucks. You get to work the monster truck? Yeah, yeah. It's really great. to. It's really loud and noisy. Yeah. But then for that week, they'll leave the dirt, and, and they'll do the same week. They'll do the rodeo and the monster trucks and then yeah. the... the all the events that have that so that they can just keep breezing. Yeah, tell me the truth. Do you wear earplugs during the monster truck shows? Um, yes, yes. You'll yeah. need to because it's really, really loud. I would. Otherwise, you're going to end up a deaf old man like oh. I am. I can't hear anything. I actually have not heard a word you've said oh. here. I, I'm just winging this as we go. <laughs> you just keep nodding. As we go. Yeah. Are you ready, Freddy? I'm ready. Let's do this. All right. You know what? You know what? This is the second really sharp suit I've seen here tonight. You look great. Well, thank you. I'm representing Mike Winder, fresh from the legislature today. Oh my gosh, you guys have had a session all day, and oh, you yeah. and you it came down. It's crazy. My my son calls this his dad's Jimmy Fallon suit, but it is kind of Jimmy Fallon-ish. It's you know what? That's wise though. I like it. Well, good. Thank you. And I with the theme being red, white, and blue, and America, I thought a blue suit would be good for Chamber West. Oh, you hit it. You hit it. Okay. Is this the end of your of your chairmanship tonight? Is this the year. passing of the gavel? Nope. I have one more year. So this is. Is the end of my first year. I've got one more year, so next year will be the end. Great. Well, I'm standing between you guys and the appetizers, and it's all good. I, I can see the I way you guys are looking at me. Yeah, it's like it's like those old Bugs Bunny cartoons. You guys are looking at my leg, and it's like a turkey leg yeah, or something absolutely. like that. So, so we're gonna let you go. Very but good. thank you for your for your service. Thanks for the interview, guys. Good luck with your chamber. It's gonna it's gonna work for you. I guarantee you. I sure will. I we're coming back here next year, and I'm gonna ask you. Right. See how it goes. Good. I know how good. it's going to go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Good yeah. to meet you. Well, thank you so much, Galilea. Thank you. Oh, that's a cool <laughs> name. Is that not a is that not a cool name? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Who gave you that name? Um, it's actually after the Sea of Galilee in Jerusalem, but in Spanish, it's Galilea. Oh my gosh! Now it's even cooler. You had to one up me. Yeah. Well, Craig is from is Scottish, and it and it's from the word crag, and it means the people that live in the rocks. Oh well, yeah, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> my new favorite person, Galileo, right here. <laughs> so, if for anybody out there that doesn't know you, introduce yourself. I mean, you told us your name, but what's your district, and and, sure. and how long have you been in your role? 
Yeah, so Representative Mike Winder, I used to be the mayor of West Valley City. Yes. I represent a chunk of West Valley, District 30. This is my fourth legislative session, or fourth year in the job, and we're just out fighting the good fight for West Valley and Chamber West and yeah. motherhood and apple pie. So. <laughs> You're amazingly chipper from a guy that just came yeah. from a legislative session. I mean, are, are we in a, you've only been doing it for four years, but we're in a pretty dynamic environment right now, right? We are. People say, what do you like better, being a mayor or a rep? And I'm like, you know, there's something magical about being your hometown mayor, but you can't beat the Utah House of Reps during the session. It's pretty wild up there. Yeah. You know, this is so cool when the, uh, the interviewer gets interviewed. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. You had a lot of experience with this, well, far more than me. Well, I, it's just great to be here tonight. This is a great event for uh, the Chamber West and uh, all the folks, the businesses out on this side of the valley. And I'm honored to be here as the MC tonight, and I'm looking forward to a great evening. Okay, for anybody that might be watching this, been living in a cave for the last 25 <laughs> years, introduce yourself. Uh, Sterling Paulson, I'm uh, Chief Meteorologist at KUTV 2 News. Uh, I'm in my 30th year at that station and I'm um, looking forward to a few more. So uh, it's, it's been a great ride and uh, I'm also uh, pursuing a degree in uh, choral music education and I'll be uh, uh, graduating from the University of Utah with that degree in just uh, a few weeks. Councilman Green, this is what everybody is saying. What are they saying? No, that's what they were telling me. They said Councilman Green. They introduced you by your first name, which is? Kelvin. All right, but they said councilman, so that's kind of a cool thing. Yeah, I'm on the West Jordan City Council. Great. How long have you been doing that? Uh, January. Oh, January. I got, I, I got elected in November, first time, and this is January, and just took a, or sworn in. And You're a new councilman. I'm a newbie. Yeah. I was on the planning commission for four and a half years, but I'm a newbie on the... Okay, city. so you're not a total stranger to how all that not works. Not a totally, total stranger. So. Right, and you're also with the chamber, right? Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, West, oh. Jordan, West Jordan City is a member of the chamber, so okay, yes, 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 we are. There you go. Mr. Mayor, okay, introduce yourself to anybody out there that doesn't know who you are. So my name is Dirk Burton. I'm the mayor of West Jordan City. Huh? I'm, how long? How long? Since January 6th, so about a month and a half. Oh, so, uh, so you're new. Old hat now. Yeah, oh, <laughs> old hat. Oh, I love that. You planned that, didn't you? I didn't. I am a hat collector, so I do have a couple of hat puns. Yeah. But, you know, being a mayor is a man of many hats anyway, so that works out very That's nice. True. That's true. Boy, why did you pursue that? Well, there's, I, I, there's, I have two loves in life, music uh -huh. and weather. Uh -huh. And people say, well, why, why, the, how does those, how do those two relate? Well, the weather is you don't really know how bad a storm is going to be until it gets here right until it's over right. and when you're performing music you really don't know how the performance is going to go until it's over i was going to say the same thing it's like exactly anybody that anybody that's done junior high orchestra knows yeah. <laughs> how bad it could be <laughs> <laughs> but it can be great too and so sometimes you have those moments and when you watch those kids learn and you watch them develop and 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 they become successful right. at something like music yeah. music is so important in the schools and i hope that they don't keep cutting the budget for that but it, it it's it's a great thing for the kids what's the value of a chamber of commerce what 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 do they do do i'm a big fan of chambers in fact uh as a young 21-year-old, my dad was chairing Chamber West at the time, chairman of the board, oh, wow. Winder Dairy, and, and he would drag me to chamber meetings. And it was that networking through the chamber while I was going to business school that helped get me my per first post-MBA job as West Valley City's business development manager. And yeah. Of course, that led to city council and mayor, and here we are. And so yeah. chambers are amazing to network. There's good people involved. And no one does it better than Barbara Riddle and Chamber West. I bet a lot of people are afraid to ask you this question, but what does a councilman do? I bet a lot of people don't know. Some days you wonder. <laughs> uh, our job in the, in the way West Jordan's uh, set up is that we're the ones that make the policy for the city. So if, if we, you know, we look at master plans, the zoning, all those kind of things, and we set the policy and the direction for the city, and then the mayor is supposed to help execute it. So we, yeah, we're mainly, mainly meet to do policy. Okay, that's kind of a tough job sometimes. Uh, there are days that it, even since January, it's it's had its moments. <laughs> You've been also a chamber member? I've been a chamber member for 20 some odd years. I was on the city council before I was mayor for four years. And I'm an electrical contractor, been in business since 1988. I have a wife. Who oh, sure you do. Oh, yeah, sure you do. Yeah, I've seven, got a wife. She's six kids, seven <laughs> grandkids. 
And a partridge in a pear tree. Well, I don't have a partridge. <laughs> you should get a pear one. Pear tree, though. Oh my gosh, the the, the change in well, I mean the change everywhere. But West Valley City in the last 25 years, come on. I love it, and it's been fun to see as a resident. My kids are the sixth generation Winders to live on Winder Lane in West Valley. It's been fun to see it as a city employee, an elected official, and a business person in the city. So go West Valley and go Chamber West. There you go. Can, and this is a good interview, isn't it? This is a really good, a good interview. Interviewee. I and mean, your pin. Good. Check that. Out. Yeah, so we have our county Republican uh, Central Committee later tonight, so I thought I ought to bury the Republican elephant, too. For but that measure. is like a way cool elephant. You know, I mean, I'm sure there's some other ones that are just, yeah, that's artistic. It's really cool. Well, it, there you go. So <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. You. Representative Winder. Always good to be here. Yeah, thank you Thanks. very much. There is all kinds of research that backs that up. I yeah, mean, absolutely. like by big brain people and all that. Absolutely. Do you play an instrument? I play the piano, I play a little bit of trumpet, clarinet, and you know, that kind of thing, saxophone. But I'm not great at any of it, but yeah. I do conduct a choir here in Salt Lake City, the Choral Arts Society of Utah, so I am, and I love doing that as well. Is there any way you could do a weather, a nice episode of weather on the trumpet? Is there just any way? Uh, probably not, because <laughs> you gotta. Well, I guess I could point at the chroma key and, and play a sour note if there's a storm coming. That's that's uh, true. There, there you go. <laughs> we can, we can, can do like, that. <laughs> looks like it's gonna rain on Thursday. <laughs> 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 that's right. The squeak, squeak. <laughs> oh, please, if you can, Sterling, will you please do that for okay. us? I think I think your audience would love. I'll work on that. I'll they, work on they that. They really would. Well, best of luck to you on Thank both you. of those things. Now you're not you're not giving up the weather, right? You, oh no, no, yeah. we're we're solid at Channel Two, and uh, it's a great organization. And I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to keep going. You know, I'm in my late 60s and I'm closing in on 70, but yeah. Nobody you know, would know I that. like I'm 40, so it's good. Yeah, nobody would know that. <laughs> Why did you want to do it? West Jordan City's going through some growth uh -huh. and uh, also going through a change in the form of government. And so I uh, figured we needed somebody who was a little bit stronger, and so I decided to run. There you go. There you go. So far, so good, though. So far, so good. Good, good. Well, enjoy the chamber. It's a gala tonight, not a gala. There's been some debate over that. Okay, thank you. I want to make sure you know it's a gala. Cool. I'll make sure I remember that. All right, you get out there and go zone something. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay. What is? Uh, what do you think is the biggest issue aff affecting your area right now? The biggest issue affecting West Jordan is east-west traffic. Mm -hmm. We have some traffic issues we need to resolve, so we need to take care of that. So that's probably our biggest issue. We have other things that we're working on as well. Economic development's going well in West Jordan. We will hope to have it go even better. But it's difficult when you have traffic problems, so we need to take care of our traffic issues. That's right. We just need flying cars. I'll yeah, take care do. of it. Can I borrow yours? <laughs> yeah, I wish. <laughs> yeah. So they do have electric aircraft now, which is like a flying car. It's yeah. very much like the Jetsons. So one of these days, uh, I think we'll cool? be seeing that. It will be cool. That's so cool. Here's another thing that's cool. You're our last interview. We get to wrap this show up with you. You get the last word. You get to, you know, when you think about this, profound, what is it that you want to say as we finish this show? So I saw this 18 wheeler that was all dressed up, and I figured out what it was. It was just semi formal. <laughs> And that is the reason you watch this show. Thank you for joining us on Crowd Surfing. Thank you, Mayor. Thank Congratulations you. on your pleasure. new job. And get out there and just get it done. I will do that. And I have 150,000 people helping me, so I can't go wrong. There you go. There you go. And that's you folks out there. Thank you. Thank you. Well, on behalf of the Chamber, thank you for tonight's weather. A little cold, but it's clear. It is. It's a beautiful night, and it's going to be a great night in here. And the ice isn't going to melt inside the arena, <laughs> so that's good news. That is true, <laughs> and I'm looking forward to that trumpet. I really am. Okay. I really am. Sterling Paulson, can you believe it? He's the host of tonight's, is it a gala or gala? I say gala. Okay. I've heard gala, I've heard gala, and I've heard gala. Okay. Uh, it's a, Shindig. It's, it's a party. Yeah. Okay. It's a party, okay? And it's about to happen. <laughs> it's about to happen, and I nailed you right before you went on. You're a nice guy anyway. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Sterling. You did a great job with the interview. Oh, this was an interview. Yeah, this is the prep. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, oh, this is for when I interview real people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> boom. I think we're pretty much done here. Do you want to do, you want to do the sign-off for us? Do you want to say thanks for joining us here tonight? You've been watching Crowd Surfing with me, Mr. Mr. Excitement. Yes. <laughs> uh, I have to explain to people when I'm happy or when I'm angry. So, uh, But certainly we appreciate everyone who's come to support the Chamber. It's a great organization and it makes a difference 
for the good in our communities. Oh, I love that. I love that. Okay, final question. Is this a gala or a gala? Uh, I would call it a gala, but then I'm from Utah. Okay, there you go. Yeah, but you're the honoree, so it's a gala. From the Chamber West Gala, this is Craig Bielik with Crowd Surfing. Thanks for joining us for, for this fun ride. This has been a lot of fun. I really, this, you, really, you should, you should try it. Okay, <laughs> I'll try. Okay.